like to introduce you the Global Montessori Games. Um, they started off by looking at sharing uh, physical activities, but since their inception, they have developed into almost a way of life. And they are offering sharing opportunities um, with um, the Montessori global community. And the presentation they will give us today will focus on a children's good health and well being. Because, particularly today, during the time of COVID, physical activity combined with awareness of oneself and supporting sense of well being is very, very important. So, I invite Roland, Aiden again, and Ah, I practiced so much, now I lose the thread. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I will. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jeroen, Jeroen Gremmen. And hello everyone. We are honored to share our thoughts, plans and ideas on Sustainability Day. And we are a global association of Montessori education and sport, or short called games. My name is Jeroen Gremme again, and I am from the Netherlands. And, <clears throat> and I already worked for 14 years at Montessori College in Nijmegen as a physical educator. Hello again, everyone. My name is Aidan Bloodworth, and I'm a Montessori educator from England, but I live and work in Zhengzhou, China. And I am currently completing my AMI 6 to 12 diploma course. My name is uh, Roland Weingaerts, another difficult Dutch name. Um, I'm, I'm a colleague of Jeroen. I work at Montessori College in Nijmegen, Netherlands, and uh, I work as an Agora coach. It's an innovative uh, initiative we have at our school and um, yeah, recently joined the Montessori Europe board. So uh, that's a little bit about us. Now I will tell you something how we started. We met at the Montessori Europe conference in Sofia, in Bulgaria, 2018, at the MMUN teacher coordinated training. Judith Cunningham inspired us to organize our own sporting and cultural event for students around the world. At the conference, we met Aiden, who is living in China, with a shared vision and drive to make all this happen with us. Within a year, we organized our own event. And we called it the Global Montessori Games which is an international event that brings Montessori schools from all over the world together and with the aim of creating peace and, uh, and connecting people through sports, education and shared culture. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female, 12 years old or 15 years old, German or Chinese, everyone comes together in the Olympic spirit of fun, friendship, solidarity and fair play. We remove the competition, so teams are mixed. At the SOFIA conference, many people express their interest in our idea, and most of the participating schools came from meeting them at that conference. Okay, uh, thank you, Jeroen. I will take over from here. I will tell you a little bit about the first event, but also about the feedback that we uh, received. Um, this event was held at the Montessori College in Nijmegen, in the Netherlands. And um, we, the participants were young people from 12 to 16. Um, we chose this age group because they're developing global awareness and they are becoming a part of the global community. And uh, we encourage them to have a healthy lifestyle and to communicate and collaborate with other nationalities. Um, 119 people from eight different countries so that was, uh, let me think, Czech Republic, Germany, Norway, uh, also Drobak uh, School was there, um, Croatia, China, United Kingdom, USA, and uh, yeah, the Netherlands were there. So eight different countries. 
and um, yeah, it was about the connection. So it was not just playing sports and making trips, but uh, we had a cultural exchange market where every country presented uh, snacks and goods and uh, had a cultural performance. And uh, it was also an opportunity for educators to connect and to share their different educational systems and their Montessori ideas and practices. So it was really interesting. Um, this is our um, feedback uh, poster. You might have seen it in Dublin at the conference and uh, the, the feedback that we've received was uh, yeah, fantastic. We send out questionnaires to all teachers, students and parents and also the parents uh, of all the participants. And um, yeah, we, we're really proud of this. This was our first event and we organized it within a year. And um, yeah, for instance, 97% of the parents and teachers said that the GMG, the Global Montessori Games, has had a very positive impact on their children. Well, this was well amazing to hear, of course. Or this one, that 93% of the participants said that attending the GMG helped to learn more about people from all over the world. So that's, of course, one of our main aims. So we're really proud of that. Another one. Um, this is uh, actually one of our lowest percentages, but it's still very high, 87%. Um, I have to explain a bit about this because uh, the students, they stayed in host families together with someone from another country. So uh, to get acquainted with other cultures and customs. And this was a huge part of our event. So the students, they, they had to eat, live, sleep, and they actually became kind of part of the family. And uh, some of these kids had never gone abroad. I've heard stories about kids that never went to another country and had to get a passport to go to this event. So uh, yeah, to see that 87% enjoyed being in a host family, that's amazing. Um, I will show you this as well, uh, because here it says uh, somewhere on top, the joy and energy and meeting other teachers. So it was not just for students, but also for teachers and educators to share their ideas and to, well, learn more about others and have fun. Okay, here you see two posters of events we had planned uh, because since our first event, there was an immediate interest from all over the world. And we had two GMGs planned, one for adolescent in Norway and one for elementary in France. But of course they had to be postponed because of COVID. But even during COVID, uh, schools from all over the world were willing to host and to participate in our events. And uh, our adolescent uh, event in Norway is rescheduled for the 7th to the 12th uh, of February in 2022. And we are currently in talks with a school in Italy to have an elementary GMG in 2022 as well. So they are most likely yeah, to happen, but uh, more info will follow soon. So. We've got more plans, but this is only about our global Montessori games, but there's more to tell. I think Aiden will tell you something more about that. Thank you, Roland. Yeah, um, COVID has been very challenging for us, just as it has everyone else in the world. Like we said, we've had to cancel all of our events, but it's also provided us with an opportunity to reflect and to adapt we've asked ourselves, how can we reach more people? And how can we better promote good health and well-being during such difficult times while keeping people better connected? With school closures and people in lockdown or in isolation, it's just as important to remember the social and psychological health as it is the physical. So, in collaboration with MMUN, we developed a new initiative, a healthy mind in a healthy body. This is more than just getting people moving. That is, of course, important. And we want to encourage people to find the time to exercise. But we also wanted to raise awareness of the holistic nature of health as physical, mental, and emotional health are all interlinked. Exercise is scientifically proven to benefit the brain. It can reduce stress, 
increase energy levels and improve mood. And this is because when exercising, we release hormones such as endorphins, dopamine and serotonin, all of which improve brain function. To achieve these aims, we created a platform on our website where we offer free access to a number of videos that are based on the five main motor skills, speed, stamina, strength, coordination, and flexibility. These activities are designed to be completed anywhere and everywhere and allow choice and adaptation for different levels of intensity. This platform is for everyone. It doesn't matter what age, what gender or nationality, the most important thing is that people find the time to exercise and to challenge ourselves and each other to move. Uh, we also created a workout schedule so that people can find the time whenever it suits them. Uh, we invite everyone to download this, to create and even share their own schedule and workout videos so we can make this a more social and collaborative experience. Uh, we also have asked ourselves how we can further promote sustainability. Uh, as our events are international, with participants coming from all over the world, uh, we ask them to find ways to reduce their carbon footprint. Can they take a bus or a train? Or if they have to fly, can they find ways to offset that carbon footprint by maybe planting trees or something? Uh, this has worked, it's been good, but we want to do more. So we're now asking hosts to choose an SDG or some SDGs that are most important to them or their community or even their country and include this, maybe do workshops or activities that raise awareness of this and to offer hand-on learning experiences. We believe that what we do relates to many of the SDGs there's obviously good health and well being, quality education, gender equality, and uh, reduced equalities. Uh, everything we do, we do with the aim of promoting peace and friendship and cultural understanding. But there is one SDG that we are really pushing right now, and that's Goal 17 Partnership for the Goals. Uh, we are making collaborations to help us reach more people and to develop new ways to do so. We've already mentioned MMUN and the work we are doing with them. Uh, we also partnership with the world's largest lesson as a way to raise awareness of the SEGs among students and teachers. And we've recently started working with the University of Applied Sciences to find a way to integrate the SDGs into the PE curriculum and to develop a teacher training program so they can take that to their own schools and their own students. Uh, we're also working with the Green Office and Living Labs where we hope to develop more content and offer more opportunities as we tra transition into an NGO. Everything we do uh, it's with the aim to promote peace and sustainability and with the hope that we may contribute to helping young people create a better future. And that's why we're very excited to share our new initiative, something that's been developing now for a while, the Sustainable Development Games. This is something that if you would like to collaborate or be involved, we invite you to do so because we can all work together. It doesn't matter where in the world we are. We can connect with each other, just like we are now. And we can learn with and from one another and develop a global community. We believe in Dr. Montessori's vision that a more peaceful world can be achieved by giving young people the freedom to explore themselves 
in a growing global community. We at Games hope to use sport and shared experience and cultural understanding as tools to achieve this. So come and join us. If you're interested in collaboration or learning about what we do and how we do it, then contact us. Uh, you can access our website, montessorigames.org, or contact us on any of the social media outlets. We're on all of them, but please do reach out so together we can have a bigger impact. Thank you.